straight after that, we're having a very special couple. You won't believe it that rugby players and rugby coaches can also sing, but they can. <laughs> so Andre and, and his wife, Kim, is going to minister a song to us after that. So let's open up our hearts. Thanks, Lydia. Okay, I just want to start with the scripture. It's uh, Ezekiel 34, verse 11. For thus says the Lord God, Behold, I myself will search for my flock and seek them out. As a shepherd cares for his sheep on the day that he is among his scattered flock, so I will care for my sheep, and I will rescue them from all the places to which they were scattered on a cloudy and gloomy day. Um, I'll be sharing my salvation testimony. Um, I grew up in a very religious house and my father was very absent and um, he has a transport company and he worked a lot and um, me and my twin sister and my younger brother um, we didn't see him a lot so in grade 8 I went to Blue Morph and I was in the hostel and um, then in grade 9 um, end of grade 8 my parents um, decided to get divorced so in grade nine, I started going out in Stellenbosch, started drinking, I had a fake ID, and um, then in grade 10, I um, started smoking weed, and I never really had a relationship with the Lord in high school. And I was really running away from the Lord, and I used to just look at my dad and think, if this is how a Christian looks like, I don't want to be one. And um, so then in um, matric, I um, almost went out every single weekend. Uh, my grade 11 December, uh, I life got it in Strace Boy, and I was um, basically drunk high or hung over for 21 days. And then um, uh, in matric, uh, I sometimes went out on Wednesday nights, and um, then um, I went to Rocking the Daisies, and I was really experimenting, and... I was super lost and then I um, did coke and MD for the first time. So um, that night I got raped and then um, after that happened I just um, went off and slept with another guy. So in, um, in my first year I was really searching and I was really running away from the Lord and I was um, yeah, I did. I was um, almost going out every single weekend, getting blackout drunk, and um, yeah, then the Lord really started seeking for me, and He um, started sending people across my road, and I would go to a lot of trance bodies and do a lot of different drugs, like I did ecstasy, coke, MD, acid, shrooms, lots of stuff, and um, yeah, so. There was an um, encounter that I had with someone from Shofar at Vortex, a trans body. Um, we dropped the MD and then it was in the middle of the winter and it was really, really cold. But we, um, we swam in the river and afterwards one of my friends, they came up to me and they just said that um, there's this tent and they give out free pancakes. So um, we went to this thing. <laughs> 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 We went to this tent, and then immediately um, I realized it was shofar. And I didn't really like Christians at that stage. So then I had a conversation with Karma, and your, um, she really like planted seeds. And um, every single time I had an encounter with a Christian throughout my first year, I would just run off and go um, find or just run away faster like I would sprint away from the Lord because I knew it was the Lord and um, so that day after having that conversation with Karma, I um, I uh, OD'd overdosed and then I saw a, a vision of traffic cones and afterwards I thought that it um, it must be the Lord warning me and um, I was super depressed I had, had insomnia anxiety from all the drugs and um, I was really lost and we tried to convince ourselves that we were um, living life and that we were happy but we really weren't and um, then I went to J-Bay for the Corona Open in June and um, I 
we did lots of coke and we would sit in the flats and do up to 25 lines of coke just do a line smoke some weed half an hour later do another line just sit in the flat all night and do that and then the next morning two guys invites us to a braai and um, we pitched up there well we pitch up at the house and um, then it was a Christian community house um, so <laughs> Yeah, you know, it was super awkward, um, and <laughs> I really felt convicted, and because um, I knew I was running away from the Lord. And then I got back to Stellenbosch. Nothing really changed. I was still running away, re resisting the Lord, and I didn't want to surrender. So um, went to Sunflower Fest, Vortex, Open Source, Flying Circus, Sprung. Um, into the wild, lots of them, and um, we would do lots of drugs, and then um, I, um, the Holy Spirit would just always lead me to show for stains, and um, <laughs> it was really annoying, <laughs> so then I, um, in December, I went to Vortex Open Source, another trans body, and I just decided to dodge the show for people. So, um, <laughs> yeah, um, I actually succeeded, and then a week later, I was in Stray's Boy, and um, I basically couch surfed, like, just, we saw where we, like, we just um, went out, and then we would just see where we ended up, and then um, Seabass pitched up at the house where I was staying <laughs> a week after Vortex open source, um, and me trying to dodge the show for people. So a week later, someone told me um, that God loves me, a small act of obedience. And um, you know, there was like up to 17 times where God sent Christians on my path, and every single time just got unveiled, and I could see more clearly. And then on New Year's 2017, I, um, I dropped my last MD, and I got back to Stellenbosch on the 14th of Jan, came to show for responded to the altar call. On the 18th of Feb, I got baptized. In May, I moved into a Christian community house. In June, I went on missions to Myanmar. And God has completely... <laughs> God has completely renewed me. God has renewed me and he has taken me out of the thick clouds of darkness. He has brought me into his marvelous light, and he really washes you clean, makes you white as snow, and he gives you a new life, a life filled with abundance. And, um, you know, I lost a lot of people, and um, God gave me new ones. And, you know, <laughs> you can't r run away from the Lord. <laughs> That's my story.